In this video, we'll see how to configure the page settings. When I mean to say page settings, this is the page area. If I keep on selecting the filter from here, finally the output I'll get in this place. That is nothing but a contains pane. So if I want to configure this, if I want to modify, add columns, remove columns, resize, group it, anything that comes under page settings. So how do I come to that? That is page settings. If I keep my cursor here and you see that's nothing but configure page settings. Now, what I want is if I click on this option and you see these are the show columns, these columns are being showed. So if you do not want this modified on, I can just click on this modified on, this column will go away. Similarly, if I do not want modified by, this column can easily go away. But there is something more extra in this uh, configure page settings. For example, if you see show 10 uh, rows per page, if you do not want to see 10, ro uh, 10 rows, you want to see more than 10, you can just click on that and you can say 50. Right now, if you observe, there are two pages. That means there are more than 10 rows. So I'll select as 25. The number of pages will go back, go away. So this way I can keep on creating. I can say I want 10 pages. So you see there are two different pages which are created. Similarly, the next one I have no grouping. Right now it says, yeah, right now it says there is no grouping. But if I want to group my artifacts into some category, what is that category? I'll show you. Right now, if you see, I have only business rules. Okay, if I click again on that, it says user story elaboration, there is term, use case specification, so on. Now what I want is, I want to categorize, I want to group my artifacts based on the artifact type. So I can use this option, configure page settings, no grouping, I'll select configure by format, modified on type. So I'll select as by type. Now if I click on this by type, if you observe what will happen is, user story elaboration, there are two artifacts. Use case specification, there's one artifact, term, one artifact, and business rule, there are six artifacts. So you can just click on that and you can keep on minimizing that like this. So now you have categorized all the artifacts based on the artifact type itself. So this way you can keep on, you know, working on this page settings, group by type, and you can select the options. I'll click on no grouping. Next, I have show links as a tree view. Now show links as a tree view in the sense here itself, if you want to see, which one is the parent, which one is the child, so you can find out this one. So if I click on this place and if I click on show links as tree view, how do you want to see the links? So I'll say as show links in a tree view and it should be a child of. I'm just taking an example, child of and click on OK. Now it will become some odd pattern and what exactly it says, this all requirements, this all requirements are child of this requirements. So this all requirements belong a child of this requirements. And similarly, there's nothing more, more than that. Similarly, if you want, you can keep on selecting different options. I'll say, I'll say as show links as a tree view. I do not want to see the links. I do not want the child of, and I'll click on apply. So this way I've got the normal pattern, right? So I hope you're able to understand. The next one is configure columns to display. Configure columns, what columns do you want? So I'll click on this configure columns to display. So I'll just move this floating dialog box. And it says there are three columns available on your screen right now. Do you want to add some columns or do you want to remove some columns? So if I say I want to add some columns, let's say I want to add priority. So I'll select here priority, click on add. So you see priority column which will have 60 as width for pixels. Similarly, if I want to add something else, I'll type here and find out that is status. I'll click on status, click on add and click on OK. So from here, I can just move up and move down the options, which column I want the first or second. So I'll just click on OK. Now the newly column, uh, added columns will be priority and status. I'll click on OK. So you see that's one priority and that is one status. So priority right now, there's nothing for our entire column. Yeah, priority, there's nothing. But for status, if you see, there's draft, under review, approved and so on. So different status are given here. At any point of time, if you think I do not want this one, so you can just go back to this place and say as reset columns to default. So the default settings will come back here, right? So this way you have removed it. But the thing is, I'll just click on this business rule, yeah. So the option is, the last one is reset columns to default and it will come back to the normal place. And this options are nothing but a expanded form of this one, configure columns to display. So they have given in detail. Still, if you want, you can just click on more. Again, it will come back to the same place. So I hope you are able to understand how to configure the page settings how to increase and decrease the columns, how to increase the column width. You can see here, you can just increase this way, the column width, or if you want, you can remove and add the columns. That's all for this video.